In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put WordPress into maintenance mode using a simple plugin. This takes a few minutes to set up. It's also SEO friendly using the option that I set, and I show you where that option is very specifically to make sure your content stays SEO friendly if you're in maintenance mode with a live website. You can also use this for a coming soon page on a website. I'm going to show you all the widgets. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, and also like and comment down below. Even if you just say hi, that's great because liking and commenting helps this channel grow. It helps this video get more views and rank higher and be promoted by YouTube. It helps our audience grow and helps uh, this content help more people. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, and we're getting started right now. To enable maintenance mode, the first thing we want to do is install a plugin, and the plugin is conveniently called maintenance mode. Let's go to plugins and add new and look up maintenance mode. This is the one we want right here. It's a great little plugin. This one has more active installs, better rating, but it's also half free, half pro. This one gives you more options in the free version. I'm going to click on install now for this plugin. And if you want to back up your site first, it's a good idea before installing plugins. I'm on a demo site here, so I don't really care about this one. But if you want to know how to back up your site quickly and easily, there's a link in the description down below to a tutorial to help you do that. And then once it's installed, click on activate. Under settings, we now have the option to go to WP maintenance mode. And to activate maintenance mode, it's as simple as clicking on activate it, clicking on save settings. Then we copy this URL and we go into incognito mode, visit the page, and we see we're now in maintenance mode. Sorry for the inconvenience. Our website's currently undergoing scheduled maintenance. Thank you for your understanding. This is a great little message to have pop up if you're doing some work that's going to affect front end users and you don't have a staging site to do that work in. Now, this message is probably not as pretty as it could be, but luckily we can change that pretty easily by going into the design. Before we go there, another important option on this maintenance mode page, that is bypass for search bots. If we set this to yes, it means that search bots don't see the maintenance mode message so they see your site content, which is good for SEO. So I would always recommend to have this checked if you're gonna be in maintenance mode for an extended period, multiple days, for example. If it's just an hour or two, don't worry about this. But if it's a day or longer, do set this to yes. We can set the roles I can access the site when it's in maintenance mode, administrators are always able to uh, by default, but you can also select other roles here. So when they log in, they're going to be able to, to view the site. For example, right here, if we logged in to this incognito mode website as an admin, we would then see the full site that we can then work on. Other user roles may not need to do that. You may not want them to. You can set who will have that access in here. On the front end, same thing, set the access there. Robots meta tag is for indexing. I would leave this as index follow if you have a public facing website that you want indexed and followed. But if you're working on a site that's not necessarily public facing, but people still access it from the internet, you may want to have no index, no follow. I just go by what's in your current robots text, robots file. My websites are always indexed and follow because I always want people and bots to be able to access the sites to access them. So here we can redirect users that don't have access. So they log in, but they're not in one of these user roles that's allowed to have the access. So then redirect it to a different page, hopefully a page that you create that would explain why they're being redirected there. You can exclude these pages for the maintenance mode. For example, the login page, WP login, and the feed, that's the RSS feed. These ones are very important because if you don't exclude those, then you can't log in those pages will be maintenance mode as well. And you don't want that, you wanna be able to log in. Do you wanna be able to see notices when maintenance mode is active, yes or no? Most usually the option is yes. You can also add a dashboard link to the maintenance mode page for easy access. Choose yes or no for that. I'm gonna save these settings, because I changed this one up here. Under the design, that's where we can make it a little prettier. So we have maintenance mode as the page title, as the heading, and as the text. I think those are all pretty standard. For the background, we can choose a color an uploaded image or a predefined background image. I'm going to choose this nice little beach here. Click on Save Settings. And now, just by making that one change on this page, we're going to see this looks a lot better already. So instead of our maintenance mode being bland and boring, it's now fun. We're at a beach, lifeguard station. This is great. Oh, darn maintenance mode. So we're, we're less unhappy to see a maintenance mode because we have this nice image in the back. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you like this video and leave a comment down below, even if you just want to say hi or ask a question. If you have a question, that helps this video grow faster, reach more people and help more people. And ultimately, that's a really good thing. We can add some more modules and widgets to the maintenance mode page. So if we head over to modules and let's say we were 
creating our site to be released to the public or we're releasing a new version of our site, we can have a countdown to when that's going to be happening. You can have it here, set the days, hours, months, years, whatever you want to set. You can set that here, you can change the color. Let's make it orange so it stands out. You can allow people to subscribe so they can join your mailing list. And it says here, the text is notify me when it's ready. Change colors if you want. You can have links to your social networks. Let's just add some of these. Let's add all of them, in fact. You just have to have any kind of content at all in here. These aren't going to link anywhere, obviously. You want to put your real links to those social networks. But this will show you what it looks like when you have this activated. Show contact, yes. You can also integrate Google Analytics. That allows you to see what kind of traffic is coming to the maintenance mode page. Just choose yes and enter your tracking code here. You can anonymize the IPs if you want to. I'm not going to change that. Click on save settings for what we've done here. Let's go back out here and see what all those modules look like. Here's our countdown. We're going to be live in seven hours. Notify me when it's ready. Just enter an email, click subscribe. And our social media pages or icons are down here. Obviously the colors need a bit of work, but that depends on what your background image is going to be and which one of these modules you're going to choose. So you'd adjust that as you go. If we head back into here, go to manage bot. We can have a friendly little bot appear on the page. Just activate it. See how this looks. This is the conversation you can have with the people in here and the conversation steps. So if we refresh over here, we have our bot appearing. This is pretending that the admin is currently typing on the page. Hey, my name is admin. I'm the owner of this website and I'd like to be your assistant here. I have just a few questions. What is your name? Put my name in there, hit enter. Nice to meet you, Bjorn. How you can see our website is what we launch soon. I know you're very excited to see it, but we need a few days to finish it. Would you like to be the first to see it? Boring. Sad to hear that, Bjorn. See you next time. Had we chosen the other option, we have our fork in the road in here. So I chose boring. Other one was tell me more. So the response to button one, click on button one, that's the tell me more. Cool, please leave your email here and I'll send you a message when it's ready. Then they have the email box. And the message we saw was, sad to hear that Bjorn, see you next time. So you can create this little conversation that is designed to help you increase the number of subscribers you get to the list that is notified when the website launches. That's what this bot is designed for. You can give the bot a name besides admin, recommended. You can choose an avatar, recommended. So if, if you're the website owner, have your name in there and then have your image in there instead of having, uh, you can't see it here, but just the admin that's just blank and just says admin. That's not very friendly. And finally, under GDPR, we have GDPR options. Click on activate. Default settings are pretty good. So you can click on save settings. And then we do have to add a link to our privacy policy pages in here. But aside from that, the setup is pretty good. And let's refresh out here. There's our privacy policy, and then they'll be able to click on that. And that's GDPR related, of course, so if you want to activate that, please do. That's how you put WordPress into maintenance mode. It's pretty straightforward, as you just saw. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also like and comment, even if you just say hi in the comments down below. It helps this video rank higher, get more views, helps our audience grow, and helps this video help more people. And that's what we're all about, helping people. And next up is clicking this video up here, which is the top 10 security mistakes I see over and over in WordPress sites. The ones you definitely want to avoid are in that tutorial up there. And down here is the video YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.